Yesterday, on September 21st, 43-year-old Keith Lamont Scott was shot and killed by police officers in Charlotte, North Carolina. The police officers were in the surrounding area looking for a suspect with an outstanding warrant. When they saw Scott, the officers said, and I quote, The subject got back out of the vehicle armed with a firearm and posed an enemy deadly threat to the officers who subsequently fired their weapon. And that is not the narrative that we heard from the people because they said Scott was unarmed, disabled, reading a book and were waiting for his kid to come home from school. And those two conflicting narratives, one the police as an armed black man ready to kill and the other one characterizing him as a father reading a book waiting for his kid to get home from school. The people in Charlotte took to the streets and rioted. Police broke out the riot gear. They had tear gas. In general, it was just an unruly scene. And on top of that, we don't really know which narrative to believe. I hate the fact that I can say this, but earlier this week, Terrence Critcher was shot in Tuscaloosa, Oklahoma. The police said as they approached the vehicle, a black male started towards them. They asked him to, sh to, to, to show his hands. He, 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 he refused to to follow commands given by officers. They continued to talk to him. He, he continued to, to not listen, not, not, not follow any commands as got closer to the vehicle. He, he reached inside the vehicle. There was a taser deployment and then later there was a shot fired. And we know that that police statement is not true because we have that scene from multiple camera angles of him putting up his hands and complying with, with the police. So now we as a people don't know what to believe because there is dash cam footage and body cam footage for this case in Charlotte, but the police chief said that he will not release it because it is evidence. And this only fueled the fire that burned bright in Charlotte last night. And guys, believe me, I understand being angry. It seems like your sons and daughters and mothers and fathers are being slain in the street daily. And these murderers, these killers get put on paid administrative leave, but violence is not the answer. The answer, be angry and do something constructive with that energy. And and I know a lot of people are gonna say, how can you say that when this country was founded on violence? I mean, look at the Boston Tea Party. They were celebrated for rioting and being violent. Look at our first president. He was a general and we rewarded him with being the president. Violence is the only language these Americans un uh, understand. And to that, I have to say, don't prove the opposition right. Their strength, their biggest argument is to say, look at what Black Lives Matter does. They burn, they loot, they kill, they destroy. But they don't want to talk about the peaceful protests that happened in Tuscaloosa where nothing happened. No, what grabs headlines is, is what would happen in Charlotte. That is Black Lives Matter to the, to the people who don't like it, not the peaceful protests. Not Kaepernick taking a, 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 a knee and, and sitting. If you're angry and you're really like fired up inside, make sure your vote is heard this election. If, if they take your tax dollars, then they have to take your voice too. And if you're really, really, really upset about it, run for mayor because guess what, what the mayor gets to do? Assign the police chief. We, we have to be constructive. We have to build. We have to mend relationships and bonds. Because one of the worst things about this is the feedback loop. A cop shoots a minority. Now minorities don't trust police officers. And, and now they're both twitchy and on edge around each other. And that kind of relationship breeds and fosters bad, life-altering, life-changing, life-ending mistakes. So yeah, TLDR guys, be constructive. Don't destroy and run for office and vote. But, internet, these are obviously just my opinions of the matter. Please let me know how you guys feel in the comment section down below. And hey, while you're down there, press that like button if you like this video. Favorite if you really liked it. Please subscribe, guys. I put up two new videos each and every week. My name is Joseph Ferguson, and this has been a Jay Virgo production.